Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to work between NetSuite and FTP to exchange information as part of integration flows. Here we are on the home page of Integrator IO, and I'll go ahead and create an integration, which we'll call NetSuite to FTP. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and create a flow. The first flow I want to create will take a save search out of NetSuite and import it into FTP. Whenever I create a basic flow, there are four steps. Choosing the system I want to export from, where to import it to, how the data should be mapped, and then in the final step, I can choose scheduling. So to begin, let's choose the export. It's a NetSuite safe search for California contacts. I'll choose my application, and I've already set up connections to my various NetSuite instances. I can choose real time or scheduled. Let's go with scheduled. Choose RESTlet for the API type, and then we choose the record type. And this will list all the different records, including custom records that I have in my NetSuite instance. Here I want contact. It's a public save search that I've called California contacts. I want to export all the data, or I could choose just to do a delta based on the last time I did an export. But let's keep it simple and go with all. And immediately I can see sample data. This is the first row of information that is being extracted from NetSuite. We can take a look here and see, yep, this looks correct because I am picking up one of my California customers. And here are a number of different fields uh, that are included in my safe search. Okay, so I now have the data extracted. Where are we going to send it? Well, we're going to send it to an FTP server. So let's import contacts to FTP. I can choose again my application, which is uh, FTP, and I have two different connections. I'll use the first of those. I have to tell it where to put the file. And I have a number of file types I can choose from. To keep it simple, I'm going to go with Excel. By default, it will name the file for me. I can include a header row so I know uh, the title of each column that I'm interested in. And off we go to the next step where I can choose how I want to map the fields. Now, in this case, because I carefully selected the fields that are part of my safe search, really the, the mapping is trivial. So there's nothing I need to do here at all. But if, for example, I wanted to change instead of office phone, we could call this business phone, for example. Uh, we can do that, uh, as well as other things that we could get into in another demo. Finally, on the, the last step, I can choose to name the flow. So in this case, we'll call it export CA contacts to FTP. And I could choose to run it. So it already knows my time zone, but I could say, you know, let's run it every quarter of an hour or let's run it once a week. In this case, I'm not going to schedule it to run at all. Uh, but at the press of a button, I can choose to run it here. We'll let that run for a second. Now that the flow is completed, let's go ahead and take a look at the file that was sent to the FTP site. So we see it here. I've downloaded it to my local machine. If I go over to the finder and open that file, we can see that it's exactly the same records that I had in my saved search. So here we've got the address of all these California contacts that I wanted. So it's as simple as that. Now that I've successfully created a flow that can take the results of a NetSuite safe search and write them to a file on my FTP site, imagine we want to go back the other way. So in this example flow, we're going to take a, an Excel spreadsheet that contains some new and updated contact information and import it to NetSuite. Let me begin by showing you an example record in NetSuite. Here is a contact named Christy Yong, and you'll notice for Christy that we don't have a phone number for her. Okay, so in Excel, I've created a simple spreadsheet consisting of name, email address, and business phone. What I want to be able to do is import 
existing records and update them. In this case, I'm going to be able to provide a phone number as well as brand new records as we have here. So now let's go back to IO and begin the flow. I'm going to start again by creating the flow. We'll call this export contacts from FTP. I can choose my FTP site as before, as well as the directory path. We can indicate the type of file, which will be Excel, whether or not the file has a header or not, and in fact, upload a sample file. By uploading the sample file, we can see exactly which rows we're going to pick up. So it knows it's got a header row, name, email, and business phone. And again, it's showing us the first record. Okay, so that's what we're going to be exporting from FTP. Now I want to indicate how to import contacts to NetSuite. So again, I'll choose my application as NetSuite, choose the instance of NetSuite that I want to work with. The record type will be will be contact. And now I can choose to either add, update, or add or update. What add or update means is that if I find an existing record, I'll update it. Otherwise, I will choose to add a new one. So we first need to let Integrator IO know how to identify an existing record. So to do that, we can say whenever we see an email address in NetSuite equal to the email address we're picking up from the FTP file, then we know we found a match. So that's as simple as my lookup criteria has to be in this case. So we'll go ahead and save that. We can then on the next phase do the mapping. Now Integrator IO comes with a very handy NetSuite assistant which allows us to see the form it's going to load here the contact form so I know exactly what I'm working with. Okay, so in the mapping, I have to say, well, what are my fields that are available? So business phone is one, and I can map that to main phone. If I click there, you see main phone just appeared. I'll do that again with email, email here. And the final field for my FTP file is name, uh, which will just map to contact. So there are the three fields from my FTP file and how exactly they're going to map to NetSuite. To make sure I'm on the right track, I can click the preview button and that's going to take my sample data and try to apply it to the form and give me some confidence. So here we see Christy Yong, we see her email address and the new phone number that we've collected. Now this hasn't actually committed any change yet, but this is a way of testing and ensuring that the mapping is all done correctly. So I'll go ahead and hit the save button. And once again, on the final step, we can name the flow, import contacts from FTP to NetSuite. And I could choose to run it on a schedule, but I'll prefer here simply to hit the run button. And we'll just give that a moment to complete. Now that the flow is completed, I see three successful records. But let's go back to NetSuite and see what's happened to Christie's record. So here we are. Let me just refresh the browser. And we see now that Christie now has a phone number. The other new customer that I added was Tony Bennett. And we can bring Tony up to here and we see that he was uh, just created. So that's as simple as it is in Integrator IO. We're able to both export saved searches from NetSuite to FTP and then take information from files found on an FTP location and upload those to NetSuite, either adding or updating existing records. To learn more about Integrator I.O., visit Saligo.com and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.